the A6 binder had no chance. And I also wanted to mention how visually bigger the A6 wide binder is. Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back. So today we're gonna be comparing my A6 wide binder versus my A7 wide binder so you guys can see which binder journal may be right for you. So be sure to keep watching and let's get started. So much like my other six string binder comparison videos, we're gonna be looking at these in five different categories. So first up, we're gonna compare the sizes of the binders as well as the binder refills. So my A6 wide binder, which is on the right, measures about seven inches in width by about eight and one fourths inches in height. And my A7 wide binder, which is on the left, measures about four and three fourths inches in width by four and three fourths inches in height. So looking at these two side by side, you can see that they both have a square shape, which is why they're sometimes called square diaries. And I also wanted to mention how visually bigger the A6 wide binder is compared to the A7 wide binder. So looking at the A7 binder on top of the A6, you can see that the A6 wide binder is taller than the A7 wide. However, in the width, there's not that much of a difference. So also when it comes to the binder refills, the A6 wide refills are about two inches taller than the A7 refills. And there's only about one and one fourth inch difference in their width. And now I also wanted to mention their binder rings since the holes are in different places. So please be mindful of this when purchasing binder refills for either binder. Also the binder ring sizes are different. So the A6 wide binder has about a 25 millimeter binder ring size, which equates to about one inch. And the A7 wide binder has about a 19 millimeter size binder rings, which equals about three fourths inches. So now I wanted to compare the pricing. So my A6 wide binder, I actually purchased from Mochi Things and this one cost me about $32 just for the binder and it included different features such as a glitter cover, a pen holder and a super cute mini pocket. And then my A7 wide binder I purchased from AliExpress and this one cost me about $10 just for the binder only. And it features a glitter cover, a colorful trim, as well as a flower charm. So please keep in mind that the pricing is gonna vary, one, depending on your budget, two, depending on where you purchase your ring binder from, and then three, the different features you want it to have, and four, if you wanna buy it by itself or in a set. So next I wanted to cover the functionality between the two six string binders. So in my opinion, if you really enjoy creating fairly quick journal spreads, then the A7 wide binder may be right for you. However, if you like completing journal spreads that have really cute shapes on the binder refills, then the A6 wide binder may be better for you. It really just depends on one, what you wanna use your six string binder for, two, the sizing of your handwriting because that does make a difference, and then three, how you like to deco your journal spreads. Also, both binders are easy to carry with you on the go. However, you may have to change the sizing of your bag depending on which ring binder you wanna take with you. So here's an example of me placing both of my ring binders into my pink cross body bag. And as you guys can see, only the A7 binder can fit. The A6 binder had no chance as it's literally hanging out. But when it comes to my Konkin mini backpack, both binders can fit pretty well. So you really just wanna be sure if you plan on actually putting your binder in a certain bag that it can actually fit well into the bag. So now I wanted to compare the binder options. So when it comes to the binder options for the A6 wide binder, shops like Mochi Things has a great variety of A6 wide binders. So they have some with a colorful trim and a button closure. Some have glitter on the cover like the one that I have. And they also have paper binders that you can use for planning. Also Fallen Design has A6 wide binders with button closures that you can use as a planner as well. And they also have glitter cover binders and ones that are colorful with a zipper closure. So for the A7 wide binder, there are some Etsy shops that have some that are clear with colorful binder rings that you can use for planning. And AliExpress also has them. However, they may call them square binders and they have some with glitter covers and zipper closures like the one that I have. And they also have binders made of faux leather with pastel colors and a button closure. So when it comes to the paper options, shops like Mochi Things has a great variety for the A6 wide binder. So they have some refills that you can use for planning. Others have cute shapes on them. Some are plaid and they have composition theme ones or even plain pastel binder refills. 
Fall in Design also has a few ASICs wide refills that have scalloped edges, or ones that have a grid theme, and even ones that have really pretty stars all over them. So for the A7 wide binder, there aren't a lot of binder refill options. However, on AliExpress, they do have refills that have a galaxy theme to them, like the ones that I have. They even have some that have a gradient pattern or even plain binder refills. So please keep in mind, you can always DIY your binder refills or you can use your A6 refills in your A6 wide binder, and you can also try using your A7 refills in your A7 wide binder. However, the sizing may be different in terms of the width as well as the height, especially when comparing them to the wide binder refills. So kittens, to me, both wide six ring binders are great for planning and journaling, so be sure to share with me your thoughts down in the comments below. And for any more six ring binder videos, feel free to leave a suggestion, or you can check out my six ring binder playlist, and I will see you guys in my next video.